My name is Kevin Kern. Uh, I am the promotions manager slash writer in residence uh, at the West Side School for the Desperate. And we are a radical arts collective. One day, like Nate and I were living together and we were talking and we were like, you know, man, how cool would it be if we like started like a performance space where like, you know, we could all perform like, uh, and, and like kind of give, give like a stage to, um, people our own age and like, cause like, you know, there's a very big void in, uh, in the Chicago poetry scene, um, in terms of like the real young kids versus like the super established and it's like everybody else kind of like gets forgotten. And so it was like, that was kind of our, our vision was like to like give those kids like a home, you know, in terms of like their art. We push each other to get better, especially like, and not just at our shows. Our shows is like the, that's where we go and like perform and like, like show people what we've been working on, obviously. Uh, like at our writing workshops especially, uh, we get a lot of, you know, young, very, very, very talented writers come in and get critical feedback from their peers and like, but like, but also like from their friends. You know what I mean? Which I think is something that's very unusual. You know, one of the things that we take very seriously and one of the things that we want to happen is the diverse, like people at our shows and stuff like that. We, we want a very diverse community and we want them all to feel comfortable. We want a safe space, you know. Uh, that being said, there have been a lot of different instances where, you know, people from all different backgrounds, you know, will come to me and be like, yo, I really appreciate this space. Like, like, you know, this is, this is like really great for me. Like, this is like my home in Chicago. And I'm like, for sure. Like, and that's what we want. And right now we're, we're taking steps um, to make everything, you know, more diverse. Like we want more representation of, you know, people of color and people of, of you know, different sexual orientations and stuff like that because like you know again like it's all about building that community and you can't do it with just one set of people all the money we make um, in terms of door and things uh, it goes right back into the space so like I don't see a penny of it you know uh, Steph doesn't see a penny of it Julie doesn't see a penny of it Nate doesn't see a penny of it um, most of our funds actually went all into our book. The Desperate Press is an, uh, a small press that we've launched here at the West Side School for the Desperate. And right now, the only book on that press is an anthology of uh, all the writers in the house, um, as well as uh, a couple of our features that have come through to our open mics and have read and um, yeah, because I mean, like, like I said before, like our our whole like, mission statement is to put everybody that we think is good on, you know, like like publish them, get them pressed, get them noticed, recognized. Well, it's difficult to get on stage and um, <clears throat> talk about, you know, things you you're supposed to be like ashamed to talk about. Um, in a lot of different ways, you know? Especially, I think, uh, as like a guy, you know what I mean? Like, like guys are supposed to be like, Dude. you know, like, like not supposed to talk about their feelings. <laughs> and uh, so, a lot of times, like, um, you know, when you're, when you're writing those pieces, when you're writing those, those very, you know, heartfelt, honest uh, pieces, like it, takes a lot like um, you know I know I've I've been many poetry slams I've seen many people cry on stage you know like grown men grown men just straight up bawling on stage because it's like you know when you're going through and you're reading that piece you have an image of it and like a, a of like what you're talking about you know and you have that that like feeling of it. It's kind of like reliving it. 
we're all very self-critical. We all are our own biggest critic, you know, as cliche as that is. But um, poets especially, because there's especially no money in it, there's the, the, the types of rewards I think that come from, from poetry are very more introverted. Um, certain experiences and things like that I could have only experienced if I was a poet. A lot of my, ins I pull a lot of inspiration from everyday life. Um, I think that's mostly my inspiration. Like I'm under the impression that, that poetry is the art of living um, through, you know, all the, all the troubles and, and, and all like the, the shitty things that happen to people. But also, all the great things that happen to people. You know what I mean? Like, like, um, like whether it's like, you know, oh, I wrote a poem about last night I was on a double-decker bus and I got fucking hammered and screamed at the top of my lungs because it made me feel alive. You know what I mean? Like, like those kinds of things are interesting to me. Uh, if I couldn't express myself through poetry, I'd probably die. I feel like the majority of artists feel like that, like, oh, if I can't express my feelings, like, you know. So, uh, but, I mean, it, it really, really does mean a lot to me, and, and stuff like that, and it's like, I don't know, man. I couldn't see myself doing anything else.